Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. I couldn't put this in the title because uh, I didn't want to scare people, uh, if you know what I mean. This article comes from um, Reuters, my friends, and from June 15, 2022. And this is the title. And I'm quoting, I support Putin. And quote, mom mourns son killed in Ukraine. So... A mother of a Russian soldier who was killed in Ukraine by Ukrainians while fighting over there states that she still supports Putin. Let's find out. Story. Crimean Olga Droze Drozevkina. So Olga Drozevkina's son was killed fighting for Russia and Ukraine five weeks after the conflict started. But despite her grief, she still has faith in Russian President Vladimir Putin and conviction that the West is stalking the ongoing conflict. At a ceremony in the 28th year old memory, so at a ceremony in the 28th year old memory, a plaque was unveiled on the wall of his house in Crimea. Uh, and I'm quoting here, he took part in the parade on Red Square, took part in a parade in Simferpol and Kersh. They always valued him, he really loved the army, and I fully support the army and the Russian president. And no matter what, they won't break us. Um, so Drozevkina's stance highlights how many Russians perceive how many Russians perceive the war. And the support which Putin, Russia's paramount leader since 1999, continues to garner. Western parties, powers have criticized Moscow's invasion as an attempt to claim Ukrainian territory and prevent it turning towards the West. Uh, but at home, Putin's approval rating soared after he ordered troops into Ukraine according to Russian state pollsters, so they can protect their Russian nationals living in Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine, that according to sources, about 10 to 15,000 were slaughtered by their own people, Ukrainians from Kiev, that sent the army to crush the liberty and freedom of the Eastern provinces. How about that propaganda? <laughs> All right. Putin's last approval rating stands at 80 0.8% according to the Russian Public Opinion Research Center. I made a video like that and it's unbelievable. And it was uh, one that uh, was talking about an independent polling and Russian polling and they had the same, almost the same number, maybe a few, uh, maybe 1% or less than 1% was, uh, was different. So, um, and then we have here that, uh, um, Dozev Kina, the lady, cast Russia's soldiers as protectors fighting for peace and believes Russians and Ukrainians to be one people, a view shared by Putin. The solution, and I'm quoting the solution, they need to lay down their arms, the Americans, and Ukraine should not fall for the provocations. So, and I'm not, I'm quoting again, it's not anger, I don't know how to say it. I feel sorry for the Ukrainians. We shouldn't have allowed that, that thought in our heads that we were enemies. We're the same people, so I just feel sorry for them. Russia calls the invasion of Ukraine a special military operation needed to rid a country of dangerous nationalists slash Nazis and uh, degrade Ukraine's military capabilities, prevent NATO to expand and uh, have elections and other things and other stuff like that. Now, whoa! I almost forgot. I was about to read you something about our president. What the hell? And this is from The Hill, from the same day. True coincidence, June 15th. Biden approval rating drops for third straight week in Reuters, Ipsos. So let's see what happened with Mr. Uh, Biden. My God, he's got, you know, he's got to 39%. Three, and then it's nine or nine 
because this is 10, because you can always see this from 9. 39%, put in 80.8. I'm pretty sure those Russians read the polls, and I think these guys here read them too, and they show him in such a low, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, that's the way it goes, people. I will make a title a little bit different than the title provided by Reuters because I'm not sure if you know what I mean. But nevertheless, uh, people might think that that woman is crazy. Maybe she is, I don't know. M many people might understand her. Maybe many people would not even think that's something uh, maybe strange about it. Different people may might see things in different ways, based on experience, if you want propaganda, culture, ideals, traditions. She thinks that they are the same people. And it's not only she who says that, there are many people who say that. I will do some genetical test on them, but now who's I will put Zelensky to the side. <laughs> and Shmal. Sh Shmal, or is that his name? Shmal, Shmil, Shmal is a prime minister. I will put them both uh, out of the uh, genetic testing because they will not show, <clears throat> you know, they will show something else, uh, Semitic. They will not show uh, Caucasian. Oh my God, they say that. They're not Caucasian because they go by different terms. But we can't say it here. We can't. Truth must wait for some, a little bit longer. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.